Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a fascinating story about the rise of Joro spiders and their growing presence across the United States. Let's dive into the details. Meet Andy Davis, an ecologist who found himself unexpectedly becoming an expert on Joro spiders two years ago. Despite not being a spider biologist by profession, the sheer number of these spiders in his own backyard compelled him to delve into their world. So, I'm not a spider biologist by trade, but because they're in my backyard by the thousands, I simply had to become one. Last month, Davis took us on a journey through the woods near the University of Georgia, searching for these fascinating creatures. Although they start small during early summer, about the size of a pea or grain of rice, Davis assures us that they are indeed present. After some exploration, we finally spot one a minuscule spider in its tiny web. These tiny creatures will grow significantly over the next few months, reaching sizes over an inch or more. And just in time for Halloween, they will be everywhere. Laura A., an extension agent in Athens, describes the distinctive features of Joro spiders. With yellow coloring and greenish-blue bands across their backs, they are quite visually striking. Furthermore, they possess large legs with banding, making them an attractive species of spider. They have a yellow coloring with these sort of greenish-blue bands across their back. And they have large legs with banding. So they're pretty striking, they're actually, you know, an attractive spider. As the population of Joro spiders continues to grow, they are becoming a significant presence across the United States, capturing the attention of researchers and outdoor enthusiasts alike. We will keep a close eye on the spread and impact of these Joro spiders as they make their mark on the American landscape. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing stories. Until next time, stay curious and stay tuned.